Kyle Busch officially has a sponsor, and I don't think FedEx is coming back. We'll talk about it. Coming up next. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Hope you're doing good today. All right, Kyle Busch officially has a sponsor for the number eight car. It is Lenovo. Let's look at this news broke by Adam Stern. Lenovo CMO Emily J. Kitchen on SBJ on if the company will be sponsoring Kyle Busch next year. Yes, we are certainly planning to continue the sponsor of the children's team next year. So there you go, officially the first sponsor for Kyle Busch, the Lenovo number eight, the red and black. Pretty good looking car last year for Tyler Reddick, so I expect this paint scheme to be pretty similar. And they sponsored Childress for I think six or eight races, I think it was at least six. Uh, they were there for six races, so six races are basically probably going to be on the book there for Kyle Busch. Now they just have to find 30 more. Of course, the other sponsors from that number eight car, you have to imagine... Some of those sponsors will come over because when they made the announcement, Richard Childress said some of the current sponsors were on board for coming back. So let's take a look at that list of sponsors that sponsored the 8 car for Tyler Reddick last year from Jayski. 3 Chai, of course. We don't know if they're coming back. Or 3 Chi. Cheddars, Guaranteed Rate, Lenovo, Bet G Bet MGM. I'm betting Bet MGM comes back and I'm betting Osco right there also comes back. Sheets, KCMG, I'm not sure about. Realtree will probably be back with RCR. I don't know if they'll be back with Kyle Busch, though, but I would expect at least three of those. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking right here, just the people coming back. I'm thinking about probably 12 races, but that's just my opinion. But I'm, I'm pretty sure Lenovo, BetMGM, Osco, and possibly Realtree, I'm almost guaranteed that those guys will come back and sponsor Kyle Busch. So probably they're looking for maybe 18 to 20 race dates, 16, I don't know, somewhere in there. Uh, but that's interesting news. It's really cool that he's already got a sponsor. Like like uh, Joe Gibbs Racing couldn't find the sponsor for the 18. Uh, pretty, pretty short search for uh, RCR so far, it seems like. So that'll be a little bit of a storyline. But speaking of sponsor news, let's talk about the number 11 of Denny Hamlin. Also, Adam Stern reporting that at the end of next season, 2023 season, FedEx's sponsorship deal is up and Denny Hamlin's contract is up. Now, this is a very similar situation to Kyle Busch in a lot of respects when he was leaving the, or got, you know, left the 18. The only difference is we knew M&M's wasn't coming back. FedEx is sort of still in limbo. And I said at the beginning of this, I don't think FedEx will be back. Here is why I don't think FedEx will be back. This from Rick Claw at Bloomberg. FedEx has had its biggest drop in 40 years after pulling its forecast. Demand for freight has significantly deteriorated, deteriorated and couriers' shares suffer worse one-day loss in over 40 years. Also, if you just scroll through pictures and, and, and uh, just Google FedEx, FedEx delivery contracts threat Black Friday walkout fizzles. And also FedEx Freight to begin driver furloughs next month. And that is right at the height of holiday season. So a few things to break down there. First off, the September 14th or around that area, they had a huge price drop where they lost $11 billion that quarter. That wiped away two years worth of earnings. Also, in all that, you saw that FedEx employees were planning a walkout for Black Friday. That also has to be of concern. Now, that, that walkout fizzled out, but it lets you know that there is unrest. And also, there are going to be some layoffs to FedEx Freight. And part of that reason is in Europe and in Asia, after you know everything going on, things haven't picked back up like they normally would. So they're having to lay some people off. And that is actually where the vast majority of the problems are coming from, is Europe and Asia. That is why the forecast and the profits are down. That is why they took a dip in the stock. So it begs the question, and also you can't you can't factor out that uh, Frederick W. Smith, the guy who created FedEx, the the, the main guy that owns it, they just uh, announced another CEO or whatever. But he's the he's still the guy you know presiding over all of it, kind of. He divested in 2021 his share of the Redskins. Now it's still FedEx Field, so they still sponsor they're still sponsoring football, but he divested himself of the Washington Commanders, I should say. At the time, they were the Redskins when he got rid of them. But he got rid of the Washington Commander's stock. Uh, he was bought out of his stock there. So you have to wonder, with FedEx, their business is tanking. 
he has divested already of one sports team. This is not a good sign for Joe Gibbs Racing. This is not a good sign for NASCAR because if the trend follows, FedEx divesting of sports sponsorships, FedEx divesting of ownership in sports teams, you have to imagine that FedEx is probably not going to be coming back to the 11, which means the 11 will be in search of a sponsor for Denny Hamlin. And even as recently as last year, FedEx had been the sponsor for every single race for Denny Hamlin, but then last year and the year before, we saw OfferPad and some other sponsors jump on board with Denny Hamlin. FedEx was not going to cover the full season, so I think it's trending in the wrong direction. Now, if they do come back, even if they do come back, I think it'll be sort of a part-time, partial sort of schedule. Uh, not partial schedule, but they would come back on a part-time basis, and you would still have to find other sponsors. So I think, once again, Joe Gibbs is in sponsor search mode for Denny Hamlin. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. If Denny Hamlin can't get a sponsor, do they get rid of him and move the next guy up, who would probably be either John Hunter Nemechek, Corey Heim, or Sammy Smith, somebody like that. So it's going to be very interesting to follow. But that's just my thoughts on it. I think FedEx is leaving, or at the very best, they'll be half half the sponsorship they were, kind of like uh, what Interstate Batteries did back in the day. They they pull they used to be the main sponsor of the 18. Now they're there for you know one or two races a season, maybe three. So that's what I think is going to happen going forward. But let me know what you think is going to happen going forward. Uh, down in the comments. Uh, if you've made it this far, feel free to subscribe. Your subscriptions mean a lot to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, you know I appreciate you. And we got the live stream on Sunday, so check us out Sunday. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.